Hi, I'm Brett Martin from Zanata Consulting, and this is our tutorial on how to send an email campaign inside Zoho Campaigns, taken from our 2022 webinar. And if you like this video, be sure to click on the link below. Thanks for stopping by. When you go to your dashboard, the first thing you're going to see is create a campaign. If you were to go to campaigns and you want to send an email campaign, you will see create campaign. You also, by the way, you'll notice under here, you have social campaigns and SMS campaigns. Yes, Zoho handles both of those or Zoho campaigns does. If you want to have a campaign around Facebook, you could do that here. If you want to have a campaign where they're getting text messages, you can do that here. You actually can have combination campaigns through workflows. Tyler can talk about that in a little bit as well. Um, all the things that we are covering here, if you if you are just tuning in, you've never watched one of our webinars before, you're not familiar with us here at Zanata Consulting, if you do head over to our website, Zanata Consulting or Zanata.com, and you go over to our resource library, you will be able to find basically tons of videos and articles on virtually every Zoho product. So if we look here under our resource library and you click into campaigns, you will see the resources that we have actually put together. Almost all of these are all YouTube videos that you can go ahead and look at. So under the basics, you have things like, you know, how to send a campaign, which I'm going to go, I'm going to cover right now. This was 2021. There's been a few small tweaks to it, but sometimes we go into a little more detail in these videos videos uh, than we do um, if you are just looking, watching our webinar, because there's only so much we can cover in an hour. So head over to our resource library there, and you basically can find, hopefully, maybe it's just some detail as to what you're looking for. Uh, additionally, all of these have got bookmarks in them, so you can just jump right to the point uh, that you want to get to without listening to myself or Tyler blather on about maybe stuff you don't care about. And if you haven't also if you go over to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Zanata, all of our videos are there as well. So go ahead and subscribe. You'll never miss one of our videos. And remember, every time we get to a thousand subscribers, an angel gets its wings. So you're, you're doing, you know, you're helping. It's a good cause. So head on over there and subscribe. With that bit of information, I kind of want to go a little bit now into setting up this campaign. You are just going to click create campaign. Oh. Let's go back to email campaigns here. We're going to do an email campaign. We'll create campaign. What type do you want to send up? A regular email, A-B testing, RSS feed, connected to Zoho meeting. This is just going to be just a straight up regular email. You're going to have to give this campaign a name. So earlier I created a newsletter topic. So I'm just going to call this the weekly newsletter. And I'm going to hit select the topic of newsletter here. One quick hint on this. If you've gone through and you've created all of your topics and you then immediately go in and you want to uh, set up a new campaign and you're trying to associate it with a topic, they're not going to be there. You'll need to refresh your page first. Once you refresh your page, you'll be able to see all of the new topics you've created. So I'm going to go ahead and select newsletter now. Save and continue here. And now you are in the basic newsletter information. So you need to go ahead and give this a subject line. You can have a pre-header. Pre-headers are things that you'll see if you're looking at your inbox, oftentimes you'll get an email from somebody. It's got the subject line and it's got this header like, save 50% today only. And when you click into that email, save 50% today only is nowhere to be seen. That's the pre-header. Um, You can go ahead and get your pre-header in there and go ahead and get your weekly newsletter in. Who is this going to be sent from? Uh, you know, in this case, we're in a demo account here. So normally this information would fill in, but in this case, we'll put my name in and we'll go ahead and save that. So it's going to come from me. You also can make it come from the CRM owner address. What does that mean? I'll go back to that here a little bit. Um, if you choose the CRM owner address, it's basically going to go ahead and look at the record in the CRM, uh, the contact record, and say who, or the lead record, who owns this. So maybe you've got 
10 different people that are working on various things. They're communicating directly with those leads. They're communicating directly with those contacts. And so when this comes out, you just don't want it to be from someone in your organization they've never heard of. You want it actually to be from the person who they're communicating with. So if you set this up that way and you say the CRM owner's email address, well, then that is who it's going to come from when the newsletter is sent out. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and add recipients. You've got a couple of ways here. If you choose lists, it's going to basically be any of the lists that have been pulled in. So if I click on this, uh, earlier Tyler did an all leads and an all contacts. It looks like that's still syncing or I haven't refreshed the page. Um, so you could choose to send it to all leads and all contacts. Uh, we're clearly not going to want to do that. Um, we're going to want to go ahead and send this to a specific group that we've set up. So I'll go into segments now. And under segments, I can choose this newsletter segment. So the advantages of segments. Now this person is getting this. Maybe I've already put, you know, these people are also getting, maybe we've got a daily update. They don't want to get that. They can unsubscribe from this. But now we've got this in the specific newsletter segment. You go ahead and save that. And now you've got all the basics are done. And now you just need to go ahead and create your content. Zoho gives you uh, quite a few... Uh, ways of setting up your content. You can go ahead, if you've got saved templates, remember over here in our resource library, we have templates, you can pull one of those. Maybe you've got a graphics team, they've created this beautiful HTML template, you can pull it directly from there. They've got some pre-designed templates. If you go and take a look at those, um, Zoho's given you a whole bunch of templates that you can just kind of start from and customize and build from here as well. So that's one way of, uh, of uh, setting up your templates, just start with something that's already done. Uh, additionally, when looking at your templates, you've got some very basic templates. So uh, these don't have any graphics in them. They haven't done anything. You can just start from scratch here and go ahead and uh, choose something that's going to work for you. Then they give you, you know, what they give you basic image layouts and text layouts. So it kind of makes it easy to choose the appropriate, uh, you know, maybe something if you're built sending out a newsletter, you'd want it to be broken down in a certain way. You can start with that. Also. You can jump directly into an HTML code editor, and this is manual. So if you jump into that, you're basically working in straight HTML. If you're good at that, you can do that there as well. Um, you can go into a plain text editor, uh, very, very simple email, no images, no logos, just plain text. Uh, and you also then can do an import um, upload of HTML. So maybe you're migrating from another, uh, marketing automation platform, you're migrating from MailChimp, you're migrating from Constant Contact, you've got all these newsletters over there, you love them, you can grab that HTML and you can just upload it in here and then you've got the basics. Now you are going to need to go in and you're going to need to change any insert tags, maybe, you know, the tag for your, your newsletter says, hello, Brett, comma, well, the tag that, that uh, MailChimp is using to drop in Brett is going to be different than what Zoho campaigns is using. So you're going to want to make some small changes if you do it that way. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and just choose a plain text editor for this. And it's going to bring this up here. You've got your merge tags over on the side. So one of the things you can do is you just hit, uh, actually you can just click these in. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one. We'll copy that, drop it over here. I want to get their first name in. Here is your newsletter. Enjoy. And then when you've got the entire newsletter completely built out, you will then just go ahead and do save and next. And when the first few times you're sending out your newsletter, it is actually going to go for approval. So you can set it up to send it. We'll talk about that, but it'll always go for approval. Zoho is really good about that. Um, it usually comes back in anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. So you usually don't have to wait very long, but the first few times they're going to want to make sure that you're not sending out material that is inappropriate that could take you uh, off some sort of spam list. All right. Now that that's saved, it takes you back to this screen and you will see here, you've got your basic newsletter in. You have your, we, earlier in the settings, we talked about your footer. So this is going to be the basic footer that's in there. You will definitely want to adjust your footer to make it look pretty. And now you have basically you are ready to go. You also have some advanced options down here. Uh, you can add uh, 
You can track plain URL text. You can track URLs using Google Analytics. You can track your video views using a third-party software called Wistia. Uh, you can have reply tracking, all of these various things. You will want to make sure that the campaign is also created in CRM if you're using Zoho CRM. You can just When you're in the CRM, you can look at it. You can also definitely want to have this update member status in CRM. So when they unsubscribe, it's automatically going to update them in the CRM. So make sure that these are checked as well. Super, super important. Uh, and then, as I said, you're going to have to go ahead and send this for review. And then once you send it for review and it's approved, you'll actually have the ability to schedule this. Do you want it to go out immediately? Do you want it to go out in a week? Do you want to go out on a specific day and time? Uh, highly recommend you look at that. If you, there's a lot of research on when the best time to send a campaign is or an email newsletter is. Um, so you're going to want to take a look at those. When do people actually sit down in front of their inbox and they have time to read these things? So uh, uh take a look at that. We don't send our weekly newsletter out at the preferred time. Most of the time, if you look at it, it's something like you want to send out at a Tuesday at uh, 10 o'clock uh, Pacific time kind of thing, or a Thursday at 10 o'clock Pacific time. It's very similar to webinars. It's when people are available and they're doing things. Uh, we send ours out at 6 a.m. Pacific time every Monday morning, but we've been doing that now for five years. So everybody expects it and they look forward to it in their inbox first thing in the morning. If you build a big following like that, you can kind of schedule it that way. So anyway, you'll have the ability then to schedule when it goes out, but you will have to send for review after a while. This will go away. Zoho will trust you. They've looked at several of the content you're sending out and you are good to go. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks again for stopping by.